Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. I like to do these little things during the week. And uh, some reveals came out today, and I want to talk about them. There's two of them especially I want to talk about. So uh, let's just sit back, relax, and uh, let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right, so up first, we got our first look, and I'm excited. I'm so glad that we're going to get the Dinobot. So we got Studio Series 86 Leader Class. Class snarl this is first look now I'm gonna go over some pictures there's a lot of pictures now this was uh, put up by Sheftron he's a youtuber um, he actually had a video up and I think it got uh, taken down so uh, you know, I don't know anything about that, but uh, they did uh, get a lot of, you know, still shots and everything of uh, bot mode and alt mode. I'm going to go through some of the pictures and look at them and everything. So, uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look at this guy. I'm so excited for this. All right, so here's a straight on shot of him in his bot mode. And he is coming with a sword, which is kind of weird. The first three, you know, Grimlock, Slag, and Sludge came with a gun. You know, and everybody were kind of upset, you know, like, why didn't they just come with both? Which I don't know why they don't come with both. So now we're going to have to get a third party company to make a gun for him instead of swords for everything. But I like the sword. It looks like it's painted. It looks really nice. Got some nice sculpt work in there. Um, you can see his, you know, kind of dopey kind of a uh, face sculpt, you know, like, mm, you ring, you know, but it looks good. You know, like Hasbro always knocks it out of the park with their head sculpts and everything. So you can see the uh, back of them, you know, the gold uh, uh, tail, you know, and everything. It looks like that's painted. Uh, he does got some paint down on his uh, you know, legs. Looks like the spikes are painted gold, uh, like a metallic gold, which is, looks really nice. You got some red down there as well. Uh, you got that nice big Autobot uh, symbol on his chest. That looks really good. So, man, yeah, this thing looks awesome. I'm so excited for this. And right there, that's the money shot. There you go. So, so you can see Sludge. He does have, it uh, looks like a sword. looks like a third-party sword, something like that. Uh, so does Grimlock and all of them and everything. So, but all four of them right there, man, we just need Swoop. And uh, you know, I know we'll get Swoop eventually, but man that looks so good together you know i always thought that sludge would be bigger than the most of them but i think uh me and my boy uh t2r6 justin we're talking about on all hell unicron uh they you know all looked about the same height in the cartoon anyway so yeah i can step that but you know brontosaurus should be bigger than all of them uh but that looks good together that looks so good and right here, you got some action poses, and he is doing a split that, you know, I don't really think that Dinobots really could do that, but, you know, it looks pretty cool, I guess. So, yeah, there you go. Action scene right there. They're all shooting at you. Pew, pew. And here he is in his alt mode, and once again, it looks really good. Like I said, the spikes, they look like they painted. You got some red. Uh, then you got some nice sculpt work there on the, you know, around the abdomen area or stomach area. And you do got some blue paint, you know, kind of break that up, which I like that. Um, you got his, you know, he can open his mouth. Looks good. You got that nice Autobot symbol that splits down the middle. Uh, nice blue eyes. And then you got the hind legs. Man, that red looks painted too as well, but I think that's just red, you know, shiny plastic. So that's going to look good. So and you got some gold for the legs. And yeah, that looks really nice. Oh man, come on now. I love some Dinobots. And once again, that's the money shot right there, man. That is why you get the Dinobots right there. Me, myself, always, I usually leave mine in, you know, the Dino modes. So um, I can't wait to display them like this. Looks good. All they need now is some fire effects. Man, they look so good. Oh my goodness. And there is the back of him, and you can tell that the uh, part of his foot is on the you know bottom of his uh, uh, shin, or not shins, but I'm sorry, his forearms. And uh, so you know, not terrible. Doesn't look that bad at all. Then you can see the the wings, you know, or the tail split you know, back there. So it looks really good. You got some spikes up there. So and it, you know, the back of him, you know, hides everything. I like that. You know, it doesn't have any hollow or you know waffles or anything like that. That's really good. So there you go. That's the back of it. And yeah, a lot of you know, a lot of sculpt work too on the red plastic and everything and the gold plastic looks really good and there is a side view of the alt mode and once again still looks good i like it uh, looks like you're going to have some uh movement with the legs 
Uh, the tail looks like it. I don't think the tail is going to move at all and everything, but you can open the mouth as well. So it still has got some nice sculpt work throughout. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And there they are with some of the little buddies, you know, like uh, Grimlock came with Wheelie. Um, and I think uh, Slug came with, or Daniel came with uh, Slag. And it um, looks like Spike is with him, you know, with uh, Snarl, but that's a different, you know, Spike and everything. But I don't know if he's going to come with anybody or like another extra accessory. I don't care. You know, that's not really that good anyways. But, you know, that looks pretty cool right there. I like that little picture right there. And the last shot we're going to look at, and it looks like, you know, he's pretty articulated. You know, it looks like you can do the, the wide splits and everything. And, you know, you can get them into some um, decent positions. You know, with Dinobots, I think they're so big and bulky. I don't really think they have to be that articulated. But it is cool when they are. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. So, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, you can see the bottom of the leg. Kind of a little hollowness there, but not terrible uh, like I've seen. But, you know, it doesn't look like it has tons of waffles at all. So, that is good. So there you go. That is Snarl. And, and I can't wait, man. This is so exciting. I knew we were going to get them eventually. Uh, but it was kind of hit and miss with there for a while because a lot of people knew we were going to get Swoop. But uh, Snarl was never mentioned. So uh, I'm glad we're getting all five Dinobots for the uh, Studio Series. And uh, they're going to be uh, probably the best uh, mainline uh, Dinobots put out so far. So there you go. That is Studio Series 86 movie. This is Snarl, and I just can't wait to get my collection. All right, and the next spot we're going to talk about. So the Transformer brand team sat down and had a multiple, like a multiple fan site uh, stream for everybody, and they showed off. Man, I can't wait for this too as well, man. I'm so excited. So this is the uh, Jazz. This is the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Cybertronian Jazz. This is kind of the origins kind of thing. You know, with that first scene when we had uh, Bumblebee, which they already put that out, and uh, now we're getting Jazz. And, uh, you know, eventually I know we'll probably get Wheeljack as well but man this thing looks good so i'm gonna go through some of the pictures and yeah i'm excited for this as well all right so here he is in this you know his you know pa in package kind of uh look right now so it's buzzworthy bumblebee origins autobot jazz uh now with the uh, buzzworthy, buzzworthy bumblebee i think they are target exclusive so you know once again we're just going to get something for target so i don't mind i have a target i have several targets around me now some people don't and that kind of sucks I'm hoping that people can actually, you know, get with others and, you know, try to find this for people. Uh, but, yeah, I'm I'm so excited. It looks pretty cool. So you got the box in front of you, and that's, a, you know, Autobot Jazz right there. And here he is in his bot mode. And uh, we were talking about that tonight on All Hell Unicorn as well. Love everything about it. The chest is kind of weird for me. It kind of looks like a Funko Pop, which is, you know... Uh, glued onto his front you know you got the two eyes right there it looks like a little robot and everything but the the, the chest kind of seems off to me and I think I've, I've read some other people say it's off to them as well kind of small it looks like but it's not terrible it's not you know something that I'm just gonna be like oh, I can't get this now because it looks that but um, yeah it just looks like a Funko Pop taped you know taped or glued right there love the head sculpt once again looks like jazz uh, love everything else the arms look good doesn't look like there's a whole lot of paint you got some blue and you got the red Autobot symbol I like that looks good uh that looks like the blue visor might be painted a little metallic blue like that the headlights look like they're painted then other than that maybe the gray down there now there is on the legs you got that big old gap and uh like i said i was talking with my boy justin and it kind of looks like there's a tab in there you might can maybe press it together maybe to fill in that gap because that gap just looks weird i don't know it just looks like it's not you know finished um but you know it looks like the toe uh, might have some paint as well, the gray, but it's not terrible. You got some little leg kibble there, but not terrible. You know, it's just a little sick, sticking out on the side a little bit. Uh, and that, that gray area in the abdomen area might be painted too as well. Uh, but it looks good. It looks really good. Hesco looks nice. Um, yeah, really excited for this one. And here's the alt mode. And man, it looks really sleek. I like it. I, like it just hovers and everything. It looks really good. Love the translucent blue for the windows. It's got that nice Autobot symbol. Uh, the blue, it looks like it's going to be painted. And it looks like the gunmetal silver for the vent on the front, or I guess for the bumper or something. Uh, looks like it's painted too as well. But yeah, that looks good. Um, wow. I'm so excited for this. looks really nice. I'm glad we're getting these uh, little origin ones. So here's a little close-up of, you know, the alt modes. And uh, you can see his gun right there, too, as well. And uh, he's uh, comparing to uh, Jazz right there, you know, the Autobot, you know, the um, G1 uh, Porsche, uh, you know, Jazz. So it looks pretty good. So, yeah, I like that. And there is a close-up of the head sculpt and his weapon as well. Looks like he got the harpoon gun. So I like that. Looks very nice. And there he is together. There's the Autobot, or there is the uh, bot mode and the alt mode together. And uh, I'm really liking that. Now, see, it looks like the uh, gap on that side is filled in or it might be just the angle it still might be there uh, the gap may still be there because it kind of looks like it is uh, but it looks like it's covered up so it might just be the angle for there 
So from this angle, like I said, it looks like it's put together. So it might, the gap, uh, but it looks like there's a gap on the right side of it now. So I don't know. Uh, it, I think they it may be mistransformed a little bit, but it looks like the gap uh, was, you know, filled in right there by pushing it together. So uh, that's good. I'm glad that they did. I'm hoping that that fills in. There's not a gap down there on the leg. And it looks like you can store part of the gun right there. It looks like the harpoon part right there. So I, don't, I can't tell that well, but yeah, it looks like you might can store the gun underneath. So that's pretty cool. And the last shot we're going to look at is a nice close up of his, uh, you know, head sculpt. And it's got Q517. I'm hope you know, it is a prototype. So I'm hoping that's not going to be on there. Um, you can tell that they did not clear, you know, um, they got the forearm uh, gap right there. So I wish they would fill those in, but uh, I'm sure a third party company will come in and fill that in for you. So there you go. That is a beautiful head sculpt. I like it. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week. Um, I'm just going to, you know, love talking about some new Transformers. Thought I'd talk about these two because they look really good, and I can't wait to get my collection. So we're finally getting Snarl, and we're also getting the uh, Cybertronian mode jazz or the Origins jazz from Buzzworthy Bumblebee. And uh, I'm excited for both of them. They look really good. I can't wait. All right, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Are you excited for either one of these? I man they look good so i guess i'll see you the next uh what's new in transformers or you know first look breaking news whatever you want to call it and as always be good to yourself man hell freaking transformers and hell freaking snarl and jazz and good night folks